Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just That Where I Am Playing Octopath Traveler 2. Last episode we um, explored the town of Winterbloom and decided to go and start heading this way, where there's also the Altar of the Famebringer, which I can't get the skill of because I do not have Tetris. <laughs> at least at the moment. But I will come back to it. Right. Ready? Well, well. Open book. Thorn Storm. Here I go. Now then. Okay, we can dagger, maybe? Yeah. Now it begins. Right. Victor Spears, maybe? No. Body bash. Meaning time. Um. Okay. Are you ready to access? Yeah. What to do? What to do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Not with the games. Okay. Um. Let's go and just keep hitting you. Wait for my boosts. Um, and I guess I can go and do this. Um, I guess I can use this. Just blow this goat up. Yeet. Who that they have one damage? Bruh. Okay, game. This thing still lives. Prepare yourself. Now then. Okay, so. <laughs> My turn. May as well. At this point. <laughs> All tidied up. Right. Somebody got five thousand points. Should be Hikari, so you can finally get Brand's blade. Gucci. Okay, I will be right back though. Right. I, I know it was a good choice to go to the right instead of to the left. May I have this chance? No, I could probably benefit from having um, advice. Now that I am thinking well, about well. it. Let's try arrows. How's this? Okay, yeah. the goat speak to arrows. Now then. Um, I guess I can do a an elemental barrage. Okay, so I didn't get to Aoi. I didn't get to um try fire yet. I still have much to learn. Here I come. All right. I forgot to get analyzed again. Um <laughs> Let's try some wind. The wind's a favor, blow. Oh. Okay then. This is an annoying combination of enemies. Bum, 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 bum. Um I'll just go and <laughs> hit him normally. Here I come. Here I go. 
Oh, they're beefy too. Well, well. Prepare. It's over. There's no need for flatness. No lust for sword. Right. Let's give you analyze. Um. So, extends our commentation stuff, and it was a good memory of you. Is there somebody? Hey, 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 Yes. Let me go and give you elemental augmentation instead of this. Ten thousand leaf. I'm not complaining about that. Is there anything else down here? No. Let's go and try this. What to do? Well, well. And let's go and use our analyze skill. I should break this down. Darkness, okay. Now. Prepare your Ready? Fireball burn! Even if I stumble, get back up. Was there something down here? Yeah, there is a chest down there. Huh. How do I get down there then? Ah, I see. There's a dock. I get there by boat. I guess you can try like How's this? the more unorthodox things. My turn. Bum, 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 bum. Well, well. What to do? What to do? Axe attack. This will hurt. <sighs> Hmm. Tigers? I already tried that, what am I doing? <laughs> I am pretty dang sure since it's before spears. Um no, can't really check that out right now. But I'm pretty sure that the other one is source. Yeah. Prepare yourself. And then since you're a shadow remnant, your other weakness will be light. My blade Time to strike. Journey will not end here. Right. Are you my next patient? My turn. Huh. Right. Now I can actually figure out the final weakness of the go. I should break this down. Although it's probably yeah, it's light or dark here. Yeah. That's a little bit annoying. I'm just gonna hit. All right, it's at random enemies. Not oh, sure. Just some damage, all right. Now it begins. Hmm. Ow! That's too much damage, game. These hands, baby. Here, just die. For 
forgive me. Let's go to some healing. Hmm. Are you my next patient? Hello. These are new. You caught my surprise, yay. Four twenty. Meantime. Wild Weasel. What a name. Canes? No. My turn. Um. Okay. Clean through my foes. Here I go. I take what I want. I was about to say, will this lead me to a dead end? That would be a little bit rude. A blessing in disguise. Turns negative values on other equipment into positive values. Whoa. Huh. That is something to rack my brain on. My turn. That could be intriguing, though. Well, well. My. My blade. Uh, I'm just gonna Forget kick her in the face. Um. Forgive me. I did it. Here I go. Prepare your stuff. Ready? You're still... Forgive me. Going back up. Can't really do much except for this. But even that is not really the best. Just attack normally though. Now Just all can... going for Agnea. What a bunch of assholes. I guess I can use this. Okay, so it doesn't do any damage though. That is something that I should definitely remember. That it does not do any damage. It's just for breaking, not for damage. Mind you, that's still really good, but you know, using it for the purpose of. Doing damage is a waste of everything. <laughs> Stand aside or fight. My turn. How's this? 
cleaning time. Well, well. It's my turn now. What knowing the weakness of your enemy can do for you, huh? Rusty staff. Hmm. Let's play. Now here comes the interesting thing though, because Ready? How do I get that other chest? There has to be a dock somewhere, but I do not know where. That's the entire thing. Here I come. Here. Well, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's go and use this. So. I don't see a dock over here. Um, but there has to be one in here somewhere. The question is where. That is my big old question. Man, I hate this encounter. <laughs> this encounter is really annoying. <sighs> Ready? You're too cool. Now it begins. What to do? My turn. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be right back until I found this little secret. So I somehow entirely forgot that I even entered this place on a boat. <laughs> so uh anyway. It is sometimes as simple as that, huh? And we get an enlightening bracelet. Stand aside or fight. Well, now we have cleared this place out. This took a lot longer than I expected. Ready? Well, well. I did not count on that being... Like on this being so... Uh, expensive. Um, hmm. Don't really have much to do with Agnia. I guess I can do aggressive slash again. Nice. Now let's finally leave this this hell hole. At least got some interesting stuff. Also got the, that rusty staff, so... Seems important for... Something. Although I do not know what. Alright. Let's see if they like fire. Some of them do. Prepare yourself. Cleave through my foes. What Man, for this reason alone, I want, I want, uh, well, well. Oswald to be here, <laughs> just for finding weaknesses. Yeah, 
because it can be quite a hassle. I'll just go and use aggressive flash. My journey will not end. What is over here? So we have the town and then a pathway to the north and to the south. Gotcha. Let's go and check out this pathway to the north. I should also probably turn it to night. Let me try wind against these porcupines. Man, I really should just analyze them, huh? Well, well. Prepare yourself. My blade sings. I know no cure for evil. A gelat helm. Reduces ice damage. Intriguing. Monkey. All right. Fireball, burn. Now it begins. My blade sings. Now. Nice. My turn. Well, well. So it goes. There's a dude in the way. Level 36. If you want to get past here, you'll have to go through me. Yeah, I'd rather just, you know, take some of your things. Although I can actually just straight up knock you out. This. Guard task with blocking the dangerous mountain past the storm hill. A path uh, that has already claimed several lives. He has been specially hired by two nations to ensure that no travelers are alive through. Let me go and... I won't tolerate such behavior. This is a low chance, but there we go. I just want to be done with it. Right. Oh, wait a second. How strong are you? You're pretty strong, yeah. Right. Time to clean up the filth. Okay. Cleaning time. <laughs> well, well. Well, <laughs> my place. I know no cure for evil. Stand aside or fight. Cleaning time. Uh. Well, well. Now there. My Man, I love Cast as a warrior. It's so good. So freaking good. But I remember this being the same in, in the first game, though. Warrior and Alchemist are a pretty, or Apothecary, whatever, are a pretty good uh, combination. Must be purged. Now then. Right. Ah, look, she can do not. Well, I guess she can do something. Which is kick him in the face. I want. So, Merry Hills. We'll go and. This is probably going to lead me to like a higher level area. I don't think I'm going to be able to enter that. Let's just go into Montpellier. But first, we're going to have to deal with another monkey. 
Now it begins. Monkey and friends. I may as well. For the pride of Ku. Right. And somebody has business here. There's a lot of people who have business here. Jesus. Okay. Now, before we explore this, apparently it's like seemingly a huge area. Um, let's go and get Temenos in my party. Actually, let's just go in general and just change my party. Actually, wait. Watch it and Particio. Let me go and give them some jabs. What do I want you to be? Apothecary, yeah. Uh, yeah, inventor is the best job for for Particia. <laughs> Fight me. Um, and I'll turn you into a dancer, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, let me also go and give her the guardian axe. And let's give you the silver hatchet then. Knight Greybow. A Greybow? <laughs> Greybow. Uh, Knight's Helmet, I guess I can give to you. Or a Jellet one. I'll give you this one. The Gorgeous Sari. For more speed. Right. Champion Sword. Slashing Glaive. Frost Axe. Steel Bow. Feather Shield. Jellet Helm. And Iron Mail. dagger to you and I think for the rest you are mostly up to date with stuffs so there we go all right so let me go and fast travel back over to um hmm, actually I think it might be better for me to just run back from here actually nah no the, the shrine is in the beginning like the altar so in any case I'm gonna be right back until I'm you know there My turn. hello there there's an octopus traveler. Um, let me just go and hit him with all of this and hope that this is gonna do enough. No, please don't run away, please don't run away. Yes! Actually, I can do lightning power. Uh, sure. However, it will miss, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Uh... Now the question is, because I can do this... Um, actually, yeah, I can just use the elemental bottle. It's just going to do one damage of a certain type. Got him. Nice. Alright, you're back. Be our back, yes. Okay, I said be our back. Um, anyway, I can get this now. <laughs> I know it's a jest now. Grant a single ally the ability to act again at the end of a turn for three turns. Only one additional action can be taken per turn. Yoink. Uh, let me also go and give you Sweeping Gale. And let us... Let's see there, because the show must go on. What is that again? Right. Extends buff, basically. Alright. Now be our back. I made it back over here. There's also a cat now in between my legs and my microphone. So you may hear a thing or two. But, well, yeah. She heard a vacuum cleaner and she's like, Nope. I must now be on your lap. Prayer for plenty. What in tarnation is that? Restore HP to a single ally, ignoring their max HP. Huh. Restore HP to a single ally ignoring their match. Okay. So this is basically gonna be able to like overheal you, I think. Which is really nice. To make sure you can like increase your max HP. Artificially. Alright, let's go and get the people for the day uh stuffs. And let's start exploring this 
seemingly huge town. Um, right, Throne. Um, I want Technia too, because of reasons. And then Hikari for checking out potential skills. Used to be a gladiator, if you can believe it. A former gladiator who made a name for himself in the arena, until a strong blow to the chest at the start of a match forced his retirement. Though the pain of the injury still lingers, he hides the discomfort well behind a smile. Hmm. Let me go and fight Raise you. Your... A fight? Ah, as a former gladiator, that's the music to my ears. On your guard. Um, also, Ikari doesn't have a job anymore. You've been exposed. Which is a little bit annoying. My turn. Predictable. Prepare your I fight for my friends. I fight for my friends, really now? Anyway, let's check Brand's play. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Nice. That's a lot of damage for this There's level. No need for flattery. It'll rust on soul. You still have Oh, no. Let me go and give Kari a job then. Um, let me go and give it the apothecary again. Ow. Right. Hello. Just what do you think you are, entering someone's uh, residence unbidden? Ah, oh, former champion, huh? A former champion of the arena and a once unparalleled gladiator, her retirement match in which she defeated her opponent without ever touching him is the stuff of legends among, spect uh, among spectators. Said opponent is now her husband. Okay, can I put you to sleep? Uh, no, but I can knock you out. Good night. <laughs> there we go. Engagement bow. Anybody got a bow? No? Okay. I'll check it out later then. Hmm, a fine assortment to be sure, but it contains many a, a heretical work. Scholar studying the history of the Church of the Sacred Flame. As a strict adherent to the faith, though, it regards any work that dares go against the Church to be heretical, and has personally attended a number of, uh, attended a number of book burnings. Okay. He's strong. My goodness, just look at all these tomes. This place is a veritable mountain of academic treasures. An ardent linguistic scholar scouring the world for untranslated works, new and old, so that he might bring new, uh, bring them to new audiences. He can read and write 13 languages and say simple greetings in 57 languages. Don't, don't be an asshole. Just give me that thing. Healing formula. Are you here in pursuit of some final tomes as well? A scholar who studies folklore from across the land. His quest for any scrap of long forgotten folklore has blossomed into a powerful love of old books. Scholarship is more than just a job to him, it is also a treasure hunt. Ancient teachings. Hmm. The salt book market is the best in the eastern, nay, the eastern and western continents. Merchant dealing in old books and an unparalleled bibliophile. His profits are severely crimped by his penchant for funneling books he enjoys into his personal collection. It seems having a job you love presents unexpected difficulties. He has a history book. Which he really isn't gonna... Well, he is gonna give it to me because I'm gonna beat him up for it, but, you know. That's neither here nor there. It's my job to protect this town. Come find me if you run into any trouble. A guard tasked with keeping Montwai safe. His ordinary appearance belies his strength and experience in battle. In fact, his might is frequent, uh, frequently the only thing standing between the city and chaos. He's not someone to be trifled with. Last gasp. I thought it said Le Gasp, so I can't. You must have. Uh, you must add what you think is the truth to arrive at the actual truth. Grandson of the book market manager and a voracious reader from a young age, this child prodigy goes toe to toe in spirited debate with scholars. Even now, he continues to ponder vast philosoph philosophical questions, and he frets over the fact that his precocity, pre precocity, precocity, has left him without friends his own age. I'll take. He may be young, but he poses the most scintillating questions. 
an Oran student of philosophy who has had his heart trampled by the cruel and uncompetitive world of arch academia. His uh, love of the field is slowly beginning, uh, being reignited, however, by a young boy and his remarkable, straightforward, and pure questions. That's a lot of stuff, um, but nothing that I really care about. The Forsaken Graveyard. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I accidentally entered this area. Oopsie. Uh, I'm not voting work at all. I'm merely pondering something. Level 40 or higher, okay. Thousand Blades. Raise. Why, yes, I'll happily put my skills in this. <laughs> on your guard. What? Prepare yourself. <laughs> Too slow. My turn. Yeah. Hmm. Here I come. That could be pretty good. My turn. <laughs> I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Jesus Christ. I Already doing nine thousand damage. Good. You still have much I will learn the skill. Um Screw Poison Slash. Okay. Um Oh boy. <laughs> you can see all the way to the bottom from here. Why did I spend so much money? I'm gonna go back in time and stop myself. Ah, keep replaying impossible scenarios in my head. How can I be so irresponsible? I'm disgusted with myself. Might as well just disappear. Goodbye. Uh, give me a moment. I will first, you know, uh, take your money. Abandon Traverse. Level 30. Forgive me, but I'm terribly busy at the moment. Mate working at the man's of a wealthy family. She is descended from a noble family that fell from grace and now finds herself working as a maid. While many are quick to pity her, she receives three meals a day plus midday snacks, and it's quite happy with the arrangement. Flash and flash. Should my research prove effective, it will make everyone rich. A woman wholly devoted to the study of alchemy, the once fashionable pursuit of turning ordinary materials into gold. She is currently looking for grants, and promises to return investments a hundredfold when she succeeds. Do not waste my time. Are you fucking kidding me? Boy, if you don't... There we go. SP transmutation. What? Raised hmm. on your guard. Prepare yourself. <laughs> ah, three to five times. Okay. How's this? Bum, 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 My bum, turn. Bum. Can we also read the spears, maybe? No. Uh, daggers are not the first thing. Like, yeah. Swords are not gonna work then. Uh, axes, maybe? Yeah. Please, I was about to say, please don't hit me with a debuff. That would be quite annoying. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. My turn. What is this? Let me just go and do this, whatever. There we go. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. I need leveled up, so I don't even need to go and heal him up. Nice. You still have much Restores 10% of all allies max eight SP, but take damage equal to 10% of your max HP. Huh. Interesting. 
I do wish the scholars would dedicate themselves a bit more. Wealthy patron of scholars. He funds many avenues of research, but only those from which he expects to see a return on his, invest in, on his investment. As such, he has no curiosity whatsoever for academic pursuits, despite being an integral part of their existence. Right. Um, let's see... I have not been here. Do you by any chance have any interest in the mysterious octopus-esque creatures known as octopuffs? I've always thought them to be a new subspecies of octopus, but they may well be entirely different. I should like to settle the matter once and for all, but my research has stalled due to a lack of funds. Surely someone out there would be willing to finance my research? Scholar specializing in octopus research. He originally studied marine life more, gener more generally, and gradually became more fascinated by the octopus's unique appearance. He is currently re uh, researching a similar creature called the octopuff. His favorite food is octopus and vinegar dressing. Okay. Deep analysis. I suppose I need to find somebody to um, to help him in his research. Let's, let's go in the library. Welcome to Montwise Library. What sort of tome are you looking for? The head librarian of the Montwise Library. She is gifted with an extraordinary memory, such that she can remember the exact location of every single tome in the building. Her memory for things other than books, however, is lacking, and she has forgotten several appointments with friends. Compound formulae. Hmm. Man, oh man. So this library is a testament to human intelligence. An elderly scholar reading up uh, on the war between the continents, though initially the trust... Uh, the thrust of his research was to prevent another war from ever occurring. He's noticed that wars have been a great catalyst for human advancement. Indeed, the histories of war and humanity are one and the same. Unfortunately correct. That's masterful mugging. Um. Everything in this world can be expressed with mathematical formulae. Scholar of advanced mathematics, in recent years, research and inventions have seen him flooded with requests for advanced calculations. If only some sort of machine could perform the calculations for him. He chuckles at the mere thought that something so convenient could ever exist. Speed enhancements or enchantments. I'm researching the history of the Brightlands. The next family used to rule the northern regions, you see, and I finally uncovered more about their research, about their his history and downfall. A scholar researching the history of a particular royal bloodline that vanished along with its kingdom after an extensive bloody war. The tragedy, uh, tragedy of that vanished line is of, uh, of kings is proof in, inscribed on history of all the folly and cruelty of humanity. Wait a minute. Wait. Is there something behind this? No. Yeah. <laughs> Was it beast that came before man or the other way around? A question for the ages. A young uh, effervescent biologist who has taken a great interest in beasts. She is currently studying pos uh, possible biological links humans might share with them. There's nothing back here, is there? No. There's just a dude in my way. Master Margello may be young, but he is an upstanding and well-mannered man. He possesses great intellect, a big heart, and a courageous spirit, and despite his noble roots, he treats all he meets with, almo uh, with almost utmost kindness and respect. He even addresses a, uh, addresses a humble attendant like myself as if it were on equal footing. I heard the young master's future wife has been decided. I pray all goes well. Man who has served uh, Margello for many years, originally a bandit who infiltrated the family's inner circle to get his hands on their vast holdings. He had a change of heart inspired by Margello's uh, trusting innocence and became the boy's most loyal servant instead. Huh. Goodness gracious, my parents decided who I, am, uh, who I am to marry without consulting me. Apparently my bride is to be a young woman named Tiffany, but I've never actually seen her uh, seen her face, I've only spoke with her. My father says this will benefit both families, but shouldn't marriage be about love and above all? Above all? I cannot even begin to fathom the distress this, uh, this is causing for Tiffany. I wish I knew how she felt on the matter. If only there were a way to speak with her. 
the heir to a prosperous business concern in the Crestlands. <clears throat> His family has prized learning has prized learning for many generations and is known as a generous donor to Montwise. He's an honest, earnest, and likable youth who is no less studious than his illustrious predecessors. Greatest weapon we have against disease is knowledge. Following that, hope. Oh. Following that, hope. Oh. A diligent apothecary who has saved a number of patients with his knowledge and wealth of experience. He has come to scour old medicinal texts uh, text for reference to a long lost method of care. In the hopes that he can revive it. Just look at all the gorgeous patterns they have here. This one is a traditional pattern from Tadoha. <laughs> Young Weaver, whose mentor finally declared her training complete, she set out to find new patterns and weaving in, uh, techniques to call her own, and has developed a keen interest in the culture of Tadoha. I'm a judge on the Western continent. I've come to research judicial, judicial, judicial prejudice or something. A judge from Timberrain who has come to study the laws of the Eastern continent. Though he's confined himself to the library for this purpose, his bibliophilic, bibliophilic, bibliophilic uh, nature has driven him to distractions at the sight of every intriguing book, thus slowing his progress. Guilty. <laughs> ah, yes, the ultimate skill. Just yell guilty. A lapis rod. Hmm. Nothing of interest up here. This seems like a story place. I dare say the eastern and western continents may may once have been joined together as one. A scholar researching the many minerals in Solistia. He is quite adamant that the land has undergone dramatic changes over the years. He has been comparing various minerals in order to gain understanding about the ancient world. Oh my god. Superior jerky. Cooking cannot be left, uh, left to intuition. One must go into each dish with a plan. The head chef at a popular restaurant in town. Her dishes are built around fruits and vegetables, making for incredibly healthy eating. She can frequently be found at the library, scouring the shelves for culinary knowledge. Filet. Montois Library is home to the largest collection of tomes in Solistia. Naturally, we have uh, we have books from both continents as well as a collection of inscriptions from the Archipelago. That said, there are books that have not found their way to our stacks, namely from the far reaches of hell, dispatch, uh, dispatches from Beastling Islands, and the curious legend of the Great Wall. Hope again. Uh, I hope against hope that we may one day count all three of these most unusual terms amongst our collection. Oh, have you found one of the terms? How absolutely wonderful! But to be perfectly frank, I wish to make all three unusual terms available to the public. I would be most delighted if you could collect and donate them to us as a set. I can tell you more about any of the three highly unusual terms I've mentioned, if you so wish. Uh, I'm fine. Very well, if you do come up with any questions, just ask. Head of the Unusual Tomes Department at the Montwise Library, her responsibilities range from collecting books and making manuscripts to keeping up with the latest in the field. She has little interest in unusual tomes herself, preferring a good romance novel. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. A fur robe. Bluster bloom. I do so enjoy the view from here. An old man who oversees a second-hand uh, book market. He is entirely self-taught and extremely well-read. Many scholars in the know seek his wisdom and counsel, and he strictly controls the market to ensure that only the best books, in his view, are sold at market. Nice. Alright, so that is all of the day stuff, I think, for the most part, in any case. There's still one place that I haven't checked out, though. Which would be the pathway down here. Underground arena in Montwise. Uh, so this is a fabled arena. I hope it's worth, uh, worthy of me. 
A young soldier brimming with confidence, he comes from a small remote nation where he is hailed as an undefeated genius in combat. After hearing of the arena while on his journey, he has come here to test his skills, uh, the skills he honed along the way. I wonder what tonight's big twist will be, given last night's results. Hmm. An exceptionally enthusiastic spectator of the arena, he has gained a superhuman ability to predict every match's outcome after learning every last detail he can about the gladiators. He has never once bet on a match, though, and prefers to simply appreciate the sport of it all. Hello, you sell weapons. Weapons and armor. Energizing pomegranate. Alright. Let's go back to the tavern and get the night crew. Alright. Um, get. Yeah! Terminus in here. Um. Well, especially Oswald, though. And I guess Terminus, too. Sure. Right. However, my friends, <laughs> I will end it off over here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just I was playing. Are you serious? There's an item in there. Um. Where I was playing uh, this game. It's <laughs> playing Octopath Traveler 2. In the next episode, we are going to go and uh, Good night. explore and deal with all the stuff during the <laughs> night. Including. Are you fucking kidding me? Good night. <laughs> That's kind of annoying, but I'm happy that I have a high level uh, thrown in. Anyway, my friends, goodbye.